Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today's challenge, I'm going to be using the CBJMS, or I like to call the nail gun, with the ACOG scope, the heavy barrel, and the laser sight. Going into this challenge, I thought it was going to be like dipping my cherries into a hornet's nest that was possessed by demons. Like, this challenge I thought was going to be ruthless, because when Battlefield 4 started, this was probably one of the worst guns in the game. It had a low damage model, it had a low rounds per minute, it had an incredible amount of recoil, and the only thing going for it is that it had a high magazine size and so the only way that you were able to somewhat use this effectively was basically outplay your enemy in every single type of combat scenario like even if you were up close even if you were using the weapon appropriately and hip firing and trying to take people down with that high magazine size it's struggle. It just it's, it's low RPM, the high recoil, and the fact that it had a low damage model made it not a very good choice out of the personal defense weapons. There were a lot better ones, and so many people, you probably haven't been slain by this weapon all that often, and that's simply because the stats just were underwhelming. But in the recent patch, and act actually what I completely forgot about, is that DICE has recently increased its damage. It normally only did 22 damage per shot up close, so if you were in one of those scenarios where they were within 10 meters, it would require 5 bullets to drop them. But in the recent update, they made it so that it now does 25 damage per shot up close, reducing it down to four bullets. That is a night and day difference. Like one extra bullet usually is going to be the difference between life and death almost all the time in Battlefield 4. And especially since this weapon, the nail gun, only has a rounds per minute of 700, trying to win a firefight against someone who is using, let's say, like the CZ3A1 or even really a normal assault rifle like the M416 or the Ace 23 you're going to get blown away simply because you don't have the damage model or the RPM to back it up. And while you're still going to struggle in those scenarios, if you go against someone who is using a high RPM assault rifle because they not only have the RPM and the damage model to absolutely destroy you, if you play skillfully and you play around the disadvantages of the weapon and you play smart, you can surprisingly go on some really incredible kill streaks. Like, it blew me out of the water once I first started trying to get gameplay for this challenge because I was expecting it to be a nice nightmare like it was before the patch, but uh, left the challenge after getting all the gameplay with a pretty big grin on my face. I had a good time. It was not easy, don't get me wrong. Like, this loadout is atrocious, and we'll get that here in a second, but I actually had a good time simply because that slight increase in its damage was a just a, a night and day difference. And so, one of the main reasons why I had to outplay my enemies is that this weapon has a lot of recoil. It's got a vertical recoil of 0.29, which isn't very substantial, but its horizontal is worth things get crazy. It's got a left kick and a right kick of 0.45. You hold down the trigger with the nail gun, it is going to bounce everywhere. And the fact that you guys also had me use uh, the heavy barrel, which was nice if I wanted to go for some long-range targets, which I'm not because this is not a long-range weapon, uh, I had my weapon bouncing just in every single direction. And so trying to reel this in and trying to be consistent with all of my shots is not easy with the nail gun simply because of the high recoil. Uh, but probably the biggest thing holding it back, and we've already touched upon it, is that it has a very slow time to kill. Even even though its damage has been increased to 25 damage per shot up close, it still doesn't take away from the fact that it only has a rounds per minute of 700, and because this is a personal defense weapon, you're pretty much forced to use this in close encounter combat or more medium range. You try to go for someone that's way off in the distance, you can slowly whittle them down because you do have a lot of ammunition in your magazine. I should mention that the, one of the best aspects of the weapon is that it has a magazine size of 51, and so you have plenty of rounds at your disposal, but trying to take someone out at those extreme distances just simply isn't going to work, and so you pretty much just have to outplay your enemy when you are up close and personal. You go against someone who is using an AEK, you better have started firing first, you better go for a couple of headshots in there, because if you started that firefight at the same time as they did, and they're around the same skill level as you, you're probably not going to come out of that, that engagement alive. And so essentially, the way that I had to work around this challenge was I knew that I needed to play smart. I knew that I could not go in guns a-blazing into a pack of enemies and assume that I was going to come out alive. Like maybe if the enemies were completely oblivious, maybe if I got an amazing flank off, which I would say is playing smart, then yes, I would be able to take out multiple targets and that is probably one of the best aspects of this weapon. Because of its, uh, its high magazine size, if you're able to catch a 
bunch of enemies that are completely oblivious to what's going on around them, the CBJMS can be a fantastic weapon. But that doesn't happen very often, and because I'm also using the heavy barrel, not the suppressor, trying to get those flanks off and also tr keeping myself stealthy wasn't easy. Like, if I was going against players that knew what they were doing and were, and were paying attention to the minimap, once I started to whittle down the enemy team or got that flank off, eventually someone was going to glance down at their minimap and then quickly take me out. And so basically, what I had to do was outplay my enemy and think about each of my engagements. Because I am using the ACOG scope or a higher optic, I couldn't play too aggressively, like I needed to at least have some distance in between me, so I thought that the best way to handle it was to play more of the, the medium game. Uh, personally, I felt like 20 to 25 meters was a sweet spot for this. I could take advantage of the ACOG scope because they weren't too close where I was losing or, or wasn't able to track them with that higher optic, but at the same time, they weren't too far out where the recoil became unmanageable. Like, you guys have probably noticed throughout today's video, the recoil on this thing is ridiculous, and trying to be consistent with all of your shots, even for a medium range target, is, is quite a challenge, and so I honestly felt like with the attachments that you guys gave me with the more recoil with the heavy barrel you know it does give me a little bit more accuracy but with that high recoil and the ACOG scope I felt like the medium game was was more up my alley and honestly if I'm gonna go for a long-range target I'm just gonna switch on over to the Sraw like I I love the Sraw in this game you guys have probably noticed in, in basically all of my videos if I'm playing as the engineer I am using it as often as I possibly can I'm trying to take out helicopters I'm trying to take out snipers that are camping off in the distance because it's a tool in my arsenal. It's not just an anti-vehicle weapon. If you see someone who was trying to take out one of your buddies off in the distance and he's just standing still, if you're using a personal defense weapon that you know isn't going to be able to take them out, just switch on over to this bad boy and quickly dispose of them. Uh, but one thing that I've always been confused by, and maybe you guys can clarify this down below in the comments section, is that whenever I do take out someone who is an infantry with one of these rockets, they rage in the comments section or they rage in the chat because they, they say that I'm not using the SRAW as it's supposed to be. They call me a noob, a scrub, I shouldn't be using this against infantry. And maybe this is just simply because they played back, uh, they played Bad Company 2 where the Carl Gustav with the explosive perk was blatantly overpowered. Like you would actually see people running around with that rocket as a primary weapon. Like it was it was crazy how powerful that was. But in Battlefield 4, it's, it's nowhere near as effective. Like you need to line up the shot, you basically have to directly hit them with one of these rockets to take them out and so the fact that they're getting upset but they're just camping and basically making themselves vulnerable it just confuses me that they get so upset by this and so do you guys share the same sentiment as the camping sniper do you get upset when you get taken out by rockets like I'm sure you know everyone hates getting killed in in a video game like the, the point is to go on kill streaks the point is to have fun and not die continuously but at the same time I, I've never shared this same idea of when I get taken out by a rocket because if they were skillful enough to line it up if they basically took me out uh, you know congrats to them and so let me know what you guys think down below uh, but overall this challenge was was really eye-opening for me I was not expecting the CBJMS to be as effective as it was like I, I don't think it would be my close encounter weapon of choice now like I would still probably use something like the CZ3A1 or the new SR2 that was introduced in the Naval Strike DLC but if you're looking for something a little bit different you want to have some fun I highly recommend you give this a try of course don't use this attachment combination. I would probably use something like the compensator to reduce that horizontal recoil and also the, the red dot sight to give you a nice field of view. But if you want to have some fun and you want to try out a weapon that was awful before but now actually has some competitiveness to it, I highly recommend you give this a go. Uh, but that's about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have a setup that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comments section and also make sure to thumbs up those recommendations. Uh, but until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy. Thank you